Welcome to Madness Inside. This game immerses you in the dark depths of an abandoned psychiatric hospital where horrifying experiments were once conducted. Police Lieutenant Vic Voigt is in pursuit of a dangerous criminal when unexpectedly he finds himself trapped in this nightmarish place. I'm your host, Mr. Miko. Enjoy the video. Answering machine. This subscriber cannot answer the phone. What are we driving a Ford Ranger? Ranger danger! Oh, it's gonna be good when you're driving a Ford Ranger! <laughs> this is Lieutenant Vic Voigt. Where have you gone? I found a trace of Hartman. I'm heading to the hospital where he's supposedly treated. Call me when you hear this. Don't go too fast. Oh, right, <laughs> danger. Oh, man, that's not good. What the damn hell? Oh, my head. Hmm. Well, this is a terrible place to wake up. Oh, we were sleeping on that. Good gracious. I got a note here. How ironic that it all started here and will end here. Yes. DH. DH. Huh. What does it mean? Meow. Maybe there's something behind the closet. Okay. Exposition. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's going to be like that. Okay. I still got it. <laughs> We're gonna go in here? Oh, God, imagine the dust. My allergies would be crazy. Jeez, I'm just <laughs> kind of strong there. Hello? What? Huh? Hello? Someone behind me? Ooh, on the left. Hello? What's that say? Hello, future me. Hi. Ooh, you look stuck. Should I let you out? Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, buddy, you're locked. <laughs> Time to go. I'm going to find my own way out of here. What's this, another note? What's that say? 0727-1996? I don't even think we have a flashlight. What do we have? We got a flashlight? No, this is a... Lovely room of death, if I've ever seen one. Ah! Hello? It's just a raccoon. It's just a raccoon. Ooh, flashlight. Take zoom pan. What is that? Worker in a place like this? Hello? What is this, math? What on earth was that noise? Do we need to hide? Oh my god, we put that away so slowly. Do you guys hear that? Do you hear the footsteps? Ooh. Hello? <coughs> ah! Good lord. Hello? I woke up. I crashed my my danger ranger. What is this? Look, that phone goes nowhere. <laughs> Ooh, a key. Scoop. Office. We'll take that. Yoink. And a note. These lunatics. Oh, the mentally ill. Of course, Dr. Strauss demands that we say mentally ill in the face of psychos. So they are supposedly better off. Tell your evil-faced monsters from your visions that you are no longer crazy. You have already been promoted to schizophrenic. Hmm. I don't like that piano. That piano business we got going on here. Ah! You throwing cups? Coward. <laughs> oh, boy. 
We just gotta find a way out. We gotta get out of here. We don't need to be here. Look at this. These lumens. Guess some lumens are better than no lumens. I wish we could brighten this up. Is anyone in here? Maybe I should have looked to the right first. Can we go out here? Hello, future me. One plus one equals two. Plus two plus two equals four. I love you so much. What's this? Gang signs? Watch me get demonetized. <gasps> Is that a way out? Oh. All right. Looks like we got to go this way. What is that? Profanity? Not on my watch. <laughs> Hello? I don't know how I got here. If you're here, I'm friendly. If you're friendly, I just want to get out. Hello? Ah, ah. Good lord, why was that so loud? What is this, piano? Can I play this? Ooh, piano puzzle. Huh? Dude, we need to close this. Close this, can I close this? What the hell was that? Oh boy. See anything on the shelves? I don't know, like... Can we open any of this? What do we have here? Some more notes? Did someone just close the door on us? Oh. <laughs> All right. I need to familiarize myself once again with the medical history, the features of inpatient treatment, and the psychological characteristics of the patient from ward number six. The initial analysis revealed indefinite treatment for the diagnosis of depression and anxiety neurosis. He also claims that he belongs to a certain cult of the rose and something else. I'm not going to turn around. I'm just going to keep reading these notes. <laughs> just focus. Focus, Mr. Mako. Several cases of synesthesia were found in patient in ward number 12. Some of them report seeing sounds and feeling colors. It is possible that exposure to the environment and personal associations may exacerbate symptoms. It is recommended to conduct additional research and determine what factors can cause such experiences. Synesthesia. I have that. Some sounds, like piano sounds, look like the color blue to me. And all sorts of other sounds. It's kind of wild. I think they say like one in a hundred people have that. Many patients have a rather interesting disease. Namely, catatrophia? Catatrophobia? Fear of mirrors. <laughs> We should have an orderly remove all mirrors from the hospital. Yeah, let's get rid of these mirrors. All right. Someone did close the door on us. Ah! What the hell is that? Computer? Internet? We got internet? We got scissors? I would be grabbing these scissors and these pens and these pencils and that stapler and that hand sanitizer. Because you never know what you're touching out here. <laughs> Printer? That's good. We got that light there. What is this? Ooh. The original 3D glasses. Hmm. Oh. Hello? What? Whoa. Do you think he'll go away? That's this guy. We just have to do it. I don't like that you closed the door on me, sir. Are you the one throwing the cups? Ooh. Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, we got a note. Number four. Triangle, circle, thingy. Isn't that the thing in Harry Potter? What? What? Why? I'm trying to fix your puzzle. I'm trying to get us out of here. You lunatic. It doesn't look like any of these. Oh, right here. Four. Am I allowed out? Oh. Question mark? God, that's terrifying. What is that? We got mice in the walls? Math? One upside down question mark. God. Why? One is an upside-down question mark. Okay, we got a note here. 
Let me know if you see anything. We're not alone. Two is a V. V with a circle. So one is a question mark. And then this one. And we'll just guess. Does that make you mad? Does it make you mad? I messed up your puzzle. We need something else. What is this? Ooh. It's not good. Oh, there we go. Let's open this up. What do we got? <laughs> Name and date. Unclear. Admitted to psychiatric hospital number 347 on May 29th, 2016. Ward number two. Diagnosis. Stress-induced psychosis. Paranoid schizophrenia with hallucinations and delusional ideas. Medical history. According to the patient, he worked as a police officer and arrived at a call where he found a murdered family. The patient claims that a demon committed the murder, which led him to believe in the need to perform a ritual for purifications. The officer himself buried the bodies in the backyard and performed the ritual actions, believing that this would save the souls of the victims and prevent further attacks by the demon. Psychiatric evaluation. The patient underwent a thorough psychiatric ex examination during which signs of severe psychosis and paranoid schizophrenia were revealed. His experiences, severe hallucinations, and a belief in the existence of demons. He also displays a high degree of anxiety and paranoia, considering himself a protector from the supernatural threats, which manifests itself in his aggressive actions and ritual practices, treatment, and dynamics. The patient is prescribed a complex therapeutic course, including antipsychotic drugs to stabilize his mental state, as well as antidepressants to relieve anxiety symptoms. Regular psychotherapy is carried out to clarify delusional ideas and reduce the level of paranoia. Work is underway to create a safe and predictable environment to reduce stress and anxiety. Prognosis? The prognosis is guarded. Given the complexity and severity of the patient's condition, long-term psychiatric observation and regular medical intervention are required. Progress in treatment depends on the degree of response to drug therapy and psychotherapeutic methods. Oh, boy. So, homie was... Is that that guy out there committing rituals? We need another... Oh, here we go. Number three. Squiggly lines. Okay. So, one... Question mark. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. So one, two, three, ah, 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 four, ah, 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 hmm. Nothing? Can I open this? There we go. That didn't know. Something opened behind here. Oh. Loot! We have loot. Can we not? Okay, we can kind of sprint. What do we have? Another key. I'll take it. And a note. Oh, boy. This is the real psychiatric hospital. All this... <laughs> all this lure... David Hartman, September 1st, 1992, admitted to psychiatric hospital Medical number 347 history. on May 18th, 2017, ward number 38. Diagnosis, oh, this acute schizophrenia, and in the long term, therapy. the patient requires medical ongoing history. medical the intervention. Patient. Okay, box head. Ah! Hmm. Do you want to play? No. No, I don't. Did you hear that? I literally, I just smacked something off of my desk. <laughs> Need to find out why he came back here and brought me. No, I don't want to play. And find his room. Maybe I can find something there. Oh, man, I don't want to go to your room. Take these scissors. Are you going to open this up for me? I don't want to play. Good, we're out. What's this say? Hold on, let's... Like and subscribe to stay up to date with everything that's new. <laughs> Did they say to go back to the other room? That's the exit. Oh, I want to leave. Let's go over here real quick. Oh, we got soda pop? How do you say it? Ooh, a note. Before I went to the brazier 
Dr. Strauss promised me that the rabbit would bring me a pocket watch. They are watchmakers and control the watch industry all over the world. I've been dreaming about them since childhood, but it's been a long time. I can't even say how long, but the rabbit never came. It can be seen that rabbits have problems with the supply of watches. Okay. Old Boxhead needs a watch, huh? I can oblige. I got, we could find a watch. There was a clock in the room. I think it said to go back. I love you so much. Huh. No worries. We'll just keep it moving. We'll just keep it moving. Who locked somebody in here? Mm. Toasty. Ha! Huh. Abandon hope. All ye who enter come. See Dante. Copyright Dante's? Why? I'll play your game. Let me out. Oh, I guess I'll walk back. You shut the front door. It's like that, huh? I'm watching you. That's a waste of ketchup. Huh? How'd you do that? It's a lot of eyeballs. We got any secret lore? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, holy guacamole. I need to change my pants immediately. Huh? Hi, I saw your friend. I don't want to play your game. Let's close this door. Let's get out of here. Close that right now. Give me some lore. I need some lore. The lore will get this to end. The lore will get this to end. Are you eating something? Hello? <laughs> Give me some lumens. Why are we going in here? Don't want, uh, don't want that dude to come find us. Oh. A place to sleep. The deep sleep. Why are there no other lights? Ah! Don't you throw loud music at me! We can't, we can't jump. No bunny hop in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being so quiet. I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. I'm panicking. Hey, so, uh, I kind of think we can be friends, you know? Like, whatever you're eating, I'm down. There must be an electrical panel that opens these doors. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. I was just lying to them. I'm not actually going to eat whatever they're eating. I just want to say that so that way they let me out. You know, they say, like, be friends with the psychopath. Be friends with the ex-murderer because they don't hurt their friends. Dear Miller says that each ward is our cozy corner, isolated from the outside world. She is convinced that there is only chaos and danger on the upper floors. I try to accept it, but I constantly feel that something mysterious is hiding in the corridors. And it's up to us, the maniacs, to figure it out. Oh, look at this. Lore? I cannot see what that says. Let me know if you can decipher that. Hmm. Electrical panel. 
in here. Power box. Oh. <laughs> you don't know how unbelievably long it took me to find this electrical box. It's been here the whole time. I went searching around all over the place. Let's crack this bad boy open. The key to the lock must be somewhere at the entrance. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I just want to be your friend. We can, we can do creepy stuff together, whatever it is. And then we'll fix the Ford Ranger and we'll leave as friends. Let's close that. Maybe the key is here somewhere. Oh, here it is. How'd we miss that? Got that Fos box. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I have the key, friendo. We can get out of here together. We don't need to startle one another. Open this up. We'll hit that button. Oh, <laughs> these so loud. Are we gonna need to run? You're gonna make me run? What? Hello? What's that noise? <gasps> hmm? Gasp at me. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy! Hello? <laughs> hey, so we... We're in this together, I thought. We can hug if you want. Oh. Sweet Christmas. I'm gonna just close you in here. Oh, we gotta do it. Could you imagine? As we get close, he's just gonna get up. He's gonna sprint and hit us in the face. Hit us in the face. With a coconut. <laughs> Stop crying. You're making me want to cry. Where's your shirt? Why? Are you doing what you're doing? Oh, you really... All right. Get it over with. You got stuff here on the table for me? You got some lore? Do you want me to read to you? Friends read to friends. <laughs> oh, I hope they don't reach out and grab us. Reality. Everyone thinks that the brain has no direct connection to reality. We perceive the world through our senses, which transmit information to the brain, where it is transformed into a picture of reality. This is how it works for most people. But with schizophrenia, the signals are distorted. The brain creates a false picture by adding non-existent information. People can hear voices or see things that don't exist. Your reality is different from the objective one. Are you here? Or are you not here? Good lord, you have no eyeballs. Alright, well... Ah! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I called it! I called it. I hate you. We're not friends. Not anymore. How did I know? Can we get into this box? Another electrical box, I see. Key? How rude. I'm over here trying to get us out of here, friendo. You're playing games. Speaking of games. Ooh. That's not good. What's the move here? Can I take this? Oh, a book. Amica Games. Amica, ba Amica Games? In the 1960s, the city was happy to open the doors to students at the new school, number one. But no one could imagine the madness 
would reign within these walls, sowing panic throughout the city. The year is 2009. The main character, Grisha, goes to the city of his childhood in search of his missing sister. After the story in the creepy village, Grisha cannot calm down. In relying on himself, he visits an abandoned school in order to find at least some clues about the whereabouts of his sister. Pieces of me. Oh, it's on the back here. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could spin things. I see that you closed me in here, friend. And that's okay. I wanted to be in here. Oh my god, not for this long, though. Holy guacamole. Hey. Some people not, aren't going to like that. You can demonetize me. Whoa, you've really been in here a long-ass time. All right, let's grab some, some chess pieces, yeah? Shh, quiet. There's a hidden drawer in the board. Maybe try to finish the game? I'm going to hold this tight. It looks like an Arabic checkmate, but you need... Sorry, I just... Why? Hold on. I don't know how to checkmate, so we'll move this piece. Nothing underneath. I'll take it. So there's something underneath on the board. Can't take anything else. Okay. Listen, I would love to get out of here. But you're you're playing around too much. You're here playing games. I honestly I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, okay. Pick this up. Ooh, some playing cards. Deck of cards. Nice. We'll take that. There we go. Unhappy, mentally ill people lived within these walls. Who were then buried in the local cemetery. Society rejects those whose minds are sick, treats them as infected. Did these special creatures understand why they were locked up in the clinic? Did they consider themselves normal? Or were they aware of their own insanity? It's funny how the behavior of the insane always entertains the same. P.S. DX. All right, I read the letter. Good gracious. You want me to close this? Checkmate, by the way, jerk. Coming after you. <laughs> you? Huh? Real funny. Real funny. <laughs> See if we can pick this up. Okay. What are we messing with here? Are we messing with the uh, ghouls? Holy guacamole! Why? Uh, something gonna jump out? I'm gonna go in here. Don't close this door on me. In here? We got loot? Oh, we can close this? Yeah, let's do that. Let's close these. I don't want... We don't need... We don't need any of this. Holy sh... You're fast. I'll give you that. Me? If I did that, look how fast we go. I'm pretty sure you're gonna win. Tell me. Are you scared? <gasps> ah! <laughs> Would that startle you? <gasps> Here I come. <laughs> All right. All right. Enough of that. Nothing else in here? Okay. A weapon of some kind? Oh! That's brutal. Playing card. Got an ace of spades. Why? Where'd you come from? So obnoxious. Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh! Attack! Oh, I hate you so much! <laughs> If you want to see the full version of this when it's released at the end of this year, drop a like on the video. It'll really help me out. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything that's new. My name is Mr. Miko, and I'll see you in the next one.